as we look at it, college campuses all across this country, they're on fire. There's a lot of um, division. There's a lot of protesting. Even here in Pennsylvania, we see there's some encampments and protests in regards to the Israel versus Palestine. I guess you could call it a war. Um, it's something that is very, very hot button, very, very uh, tricky. It's something that, as a believer, you're torn as to what you're supposed to do. Um, I want to share my perspective and what I think. And I want to share what what's the reason this war is going on and what should Christians do when it comes to this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to um, meet me in the comments and to share your thoughts and to share what you think. Um, enlighten me. Let me know what's going on as well. Because I want to make sure that I I can learn and I don't want to believe something out of ignorance. But I do have um, some strong feelings and some, some strong thoughts about this. And I think it's, it's dangerous because all over the internet you see, hey, pray for Israel, pray for Israel. Christians cannot be anti-Israel, et cetera, et cetera. I have a very tough time with such comments. I have a very, very difficult time thinking that by default, if you are a Christian, you have to support Israel. I understand and, and the and the the premise and the the justification that's given that Israel is God's people. And I'm not denying they're God's people. But I also understand that they can and have done things that are unjust. So are we supposed to just support them blindly and to support whatever they do? And to support whatever they say, regardless of what they, just because they're Israel. Are we allowed to say, hey, this type of behavior is not acceptable. This type of, of, of genocide that's happening in Israel is unacceptable. What should we do? Like, you know, we, we as a church, we have to be different. We can't be like the world. The world is is very polarizing. The world is you must pick sides. The world is if you're for this, you can't be this. And and there and it has become to a place of even like very extreme in what they think. Very like, you know, you if you support Israel, you can't support Palestine. If you support Palestine, you can't support Israel. That is the rhetoric and the approach of the world. And I believe that that Christians, we need to do a better job of making sure that we find a way to not mirror the world. We must find a way to make sure we, we don't do what the world does. We must find a way to, to bring light and be, and be the salt of the world. That we can't just blindly just pick sides and say, I hate this and love this. Yes, Israel, they're the people, chosen people of God, and nothing will change that. And nothing will would ever make that different. But I also think as believers, at the heart of the gospel, at the heart of, of the church, should be justice. So if Israel is being unjust, if Israel is doing something that, is dangerous and harming other people. We have every right to say we're not going to support that. Does that mean that we're fake Christians? Does that mean that we're we're bad believers? No. It means that primarily we're going to support justice. Primarily, I'm going to I'm going to go to the side of what's right. And as a Christian, it doesn't make me a bad Christian to say, "Hey, I stand with Palestine." Because I can't blindly sit here and support Israel. 
regardless of the fact that they're God's people, regardless of the fact that they're God's, God's chosen, and that will never change. And that is something for us to, to know because that's very prophetic. That's the reason why Christ is going to come back at the end of Armageddon to save the nation of Israel because God cannot go against his word. The word, the word of God says in the book of Numbers that God is not a man that he shall repent. He chose them. He said that they're his and that doesn't change. But yet he also put them into captivity. Yet he, he also sat here and acknowledged the wrong that they've done. They've done wrong. So if God can acknowledge, we can't acknowledge. Like, like what, I, I don't get it. I don't get the, this rhetoric. I don't get this, these thoughts. I don't get this idea that I only could support one side, that I cannot support Palestine. When there's, there's evidence of, of various atrocities that the people of Israel has done to the people of Palestine. You know, people would argue that what's happening is genocide. They're trying to eradicate a people. Israel is trying to basically bogart and, and Brody um, um, Palestine for their land with the very premise that they're Israel. So my, my, this is not a, a, a discussion of Islam versus Christianity. This is not, this is not that type of thing because it, it, that's, that's a different conversation. But I also have to admit, if we want to go there, we can go there. But, but if we want to talk about Christian, Christianity versus um, th their bad ways, what about the, um, the crusade where Christians kill thousands of people? But because it's Christianity and it, it it was on a guise, on a premise of a good cause, then we can't really talk bad about it. No. Just like we talk bad about the wrongs that go on in the church, I think it's okay for us to talk bad at the wrongs that the people of Israel are currently doing. If you're on a college campus right now, if you're at Penn or UCLA or Columbia, and wherever you are and you're protesting, you have to also follow the law I, I i do not i do not support violence i do not as christians we we can't blindly support anything so i can't blindly support violence I, I, even though i may agree with the cause i can't sit here and say it's okay to um you know and take, take encampments on college campuses i can't say that that's injustice i believe Injustice and following the rules and the letter of the laws. Just like a couple of years ago when it was Black Lives Matter, right? We had the Black Lives Matter and they, and they had certain people that were in favor of Black Lives Matter, but they were tearing down buildings. They were harming police officers. I'm not going to sit here and say this is great because this is a, I, I agree that all Black Lives Matter. No. Christians need to support justice. Christians need to sit here and say, I'm not going to pick any side. I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not going to blindly support Israel and I'm not going to blindly support Palestine. I'm on the side of justice. Do you think that God is throwing a, does not have compassion for all the mothers who have lost their, their, the Palestinian moms who have lost their children? Do you think God has not, does not have compassion for all the, for all the, the innocent people from Palestine that has died as a result of this war? Just because, oh, Israel is the people of God. Do you think God is sitting here claiming Clapping and, and, and saying, yes, kill all these people. No, you don't know the heart of God. God's a God of compassion. The same compassion that God has had for us, he has for them as well. But we sit here and blindly say, hey, you cannot be anti-Israel. You need to read your Bible. You need to go pray about who you support. I believe that the Lord is calling us to support justice. And if you are a supporter of Palestine, if you are sitting here and trying to help them out, that does not make you a bad Christian. That does not make you a bad believer. I think you, you, that makes you a person. If you have pure intentions, if you are pursuing justice, if you're saying, listen, I'm not on either side. Israel has done stuff that's wrong. Palestine has done things wrong. I don't, I, I don't want to bore you with the, with the history Look it up for yourself and see what Israel has done in the past to the people of, of Palestine. What, look, look, at, look at what Palestine has done as well. It's, we, th this is not a, a ball game. It's not the NBA playoffs where you got to be a Sixers fan or a Knicks fan. 
right? That's not how things work. As believers, when we are confronted with such issues, we, we stand on the side of justice. Our priority is to be right and to be just. Not to support a side blindly just because. That's not justice. Look at the facts. Those of you who are sitting here anti-Israel, those of you who are sitting here saying, you know, uh, anti-Palestine, look at the facts. This does not change our view that they are the chosen people and that they are the, 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 the sons and daughters of God. I change that. I'm not going to sit here and blindly support them. I'm going to blindly sit here and say, hey, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm with Israel. That you, as a Christian, you are supposed to support Israel. Are we to ignore their, their injustice? Are we, are we are to, to ignore the corruption and the wrong that Israel has done? This is not an anti-Israel video, but it's, it's a video that's trying to give you perspective and for you to understand like, yo, it's okay for me to sit here and support Palestine. It's okay for me to sit here and be on a college campus and, and, and peacefully, peacefully protest. It's okay. That's not, that's not, um, that don't take away my Christian Christianity card. <laughs> that does not take away all that I that I've done. So it's important for us to sit here and realize what's and have right the, the right perspective, and not blindly support. Can I ask you a question? Are you sure that what you see in the media is? The truth, because I think on the in the media, it's kind of it's kind of slanted to one side. I've, I've seen people canceled because they support Palestine. I seen people have to have to. Again, I'm not sitting here anti anti um, anti Israel. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I'm pro justice. I'm pro-humanity. Any child that dies unjustly, I'm against. Any mom on either side who's crying and saying, I miss, I, I lost my child or my child been taken hostage, these things are wrong. So it's time for us to smarten up. It's time for us to be wise. It's time, as we, as we look through the news and see what's out there and see the different, um, Images of the pro of the pro Palestine marches. We also need to open our eyes and spirit. And the church, we can't be so divisive. We can't be so ignorant to the to the to the tricks of the enemy. He, he wants to separate. He wants to separate us and divide us. And we can't sit here. We can't sit here and fall for it. We can't sit here and allow ourselves to fall for it. We gotta be smarter than that. We got to be at a place where we understand the, the, what the enemy's trying to do. We got to be there. We got to do better. Cause end of the day, God wants people, God, God cries and God has compassion towards anyone that lost somebody. But all we try to do is create division. You follow the, the world, a world that, that's divided. You know, it's the same thing with politics. I don't want to get to that where it's, I'm Republican, you're Democrat. You can't, you can't have a discussion without having a, a, a fight or an argument. But church, we can't fall for that trap. Church, we can't sit here and believe what the enemy does. Let's keep our eyes on God and prayerfully pray for peace. Because we don't want, want any innocent person to lose their lives on either way. And we have a responsibility as a church to call out injustice and call out what's wrong. Call a spade a spade, as they say. So tell me what you think. Thank you for, for listening to my rant. You know, um, I, hope it, I, I hope if you're confused as a Christian as to which side you should be on, and I'll put side in air quotes, or what you should do. This brings a level of clarity. Choose God. 
Choose peace. Be pro-humanity. Not pro-Israel. Not blindly pro, uh, pro-Palestine. pro Let's choose peace and watch God do the rest. God bless you. I thank you for listening. I love you guys, man. <laughs>